Care and caring leadership are complex sets of ideas. There is no single blueprint or recipe for the caring leader, no one size fits all. And in fact, most people writing from the perspective of care ethics would shudder at the very notion of a blueprint. This is because care is often considered to be the theory or the philosophy of the particular. Interested in what matters to this particular person or in this specific setting, rather than any more abstract or homogenous set of ideas. In fact, care as an ethical system is often contrasted with justice. Care is the theory of the particular, justice is the theory of the universal, associated with broader, more abstract qualities, such as fairness and equality. This is why the caring leader must take extra effort to try and discover and get to know the people who work or rely on him or her as they actually are. This means, amongst other things, recognising that all of us in a crisis are going to react differently. And in fact, all of us may be, well be reacting differently from one day to the next. Understanding how to motivate one's people in this sort of time of coronavirus pandemic means accepting that one size really does not fit all and that we all are going to continue to feel and want to do different things from one day to the next. One of the challenges for the caring leader, therefore, is to try to discover or to find out what their constituents or followers really need or want or desire, rather than automatically assuming that they know best. Assuming that one knows best is like the most overbearing, stifling sort of mother figure who quashes her offspring's uh, attempts to find independence and agency by taking all of the decisions for herself. This is why caring leadership needs to operate under the Goldilocks principle. Not too much, nor too little. Caring too little would mean not bothering to find out or to recognise or to get to know one's followers and one's constituents as they actually are. Caring too much, on the other hand, would mean taking all of the decisions for them, assuming that one knows best and depriving followers and, and constituents of the space to try to work things out for themselves. Both of these risks, both caring too much and too little, are heightened at a time of crisis.